When it comes to gear, here at Muse, we have one tool that we will never leave at home, and that's the monopod. It's quick and fast and allows us to be flexible so that we can always proactively capture the scenes that we need for our stories. We've talked about the fundamentals of using a monopod, and if you haven't seen that tutorial, head there first. But today we're going to talk about three ways we've gotten really creative with the monopod and how you can use this one tool to create multiple different shots when you're in the field and need a light footprint. Number one, now you may be in the field and you need to get an above shot, but you don't have a crane or a ladder to get you there. Don't worry, grab your monopod. Place your monopod's feet against the wall to keep your camera steady and turn the camera down to shoot from above. Now remember, you wanna adjust your tension knobs and you wanna keep three points of contact on the camera to keep it steady. Now on the other side of things, you may want to get a really low shot, something close to the ground. The second way to use your monopod is to move the leg in front of you, allowing you to get much closer to the ground. The key is to keep the feet on the floor so that it continues to give you that extra stability. Now number three. Now this one's a bit creative, but we've totally used it. Now, if you're filming a wedding or you're filming something where a character heads straight to the car and you need to get a steady shot, but you don't have time to assemble a new rig, it's okay, grab your monopod and hop straight into the car. Your first step is to rotate your base plate 90 degrees so that it is perpendicular to the direction of your lens. Next, push the leg in front of you with the feet firmly planted on the floor. This way you still have the support from the monopod but are free to shoot the person inside the car. Now we have one lucky last bonus tip for you. This one's not actually about camera movement, it's about your lighting, but we've used it more than once on set. When you're in a location with a pesky overhead light, you know the one I'm talking about, that awful fluorescent right above your subject and no one can find the switch to turn it off. Here's what we do. Okay, so we've got our interview location over here and we just have this little stray spotlight that's like an emergency light and it won't go off. So we're gonna show you the old black foil on the monopod trick. So we take a little bit of black foil here, right? Roll up our gaff tape, just double it up so that it'll stick. And we've got our lovely Benro monopod. And all we're gonna do here is throw the black foil on the legs of the monopod, put it right up here and snap it over the leg. And just like that, these are just a few useful ways that we've used the monopod in the field. But now it's your turn. Let us know some of the non-conventional ways you've used a monopod on a shoot.